we would we would go up there for Christmas. Um, I think we did that about two or three years in a row, and I just I, he would always give me a, a Darth Vader, uh, the mask thing, and the mm -hmm. cape, and the, like the voice, the or the breather thing. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, um, so that's pretty much all I remember. Were you good in football yet? Did he did you play in, in the yard or anything? Uh, well, my dad said that he saw something in me back then, but I mean, I didn't, I didn't think anything. Of, of Do you that. remember anything your grandfather told you about playing football? Nah. Okay. You still got that Darth Vader? <laughs> no, I don't have it anymore. <laughs> and now your dad played pro ball. But he didn't play in the NFL. Do you, you kind of want to make the NFL because he didn't quite make it? That's kind of part of your dream. Or? Well, it's not really because he didn't make it. It's just. Um, that's just the path I, I hope I can go. Um, but if not, I mean, it, it is what it is, you know. And, and what do you think of him as a coach? I mean, he's, he's pretty much coaching you all the time, right? Yeah. Um, he's, in my opinion, I think he's the best I've had. I mean, I've had him every year until this year. So um, he has to be doing something right. <laughs> is he hard on you as a coach? Not because he's also your dad. He be rough on you and not feel like it's... Paper. Nah, I mean, nah, he's not, he's not tough. I mean... He gives you time off? Yeah, yeah. What do you think of the matchup uh, CD Lamb and the uh, secondary against Oklahoma receivers? What do you see on the film watching? Well, I feel like, I feel like we were prepared um, to go out there and play our best and I know he's coming with his best, so um, hopefully we'll be able to make more plays than, than they do. What do you, do they remind anybody you've played against? Um, they're different. They have a little. They have a little different to them. Um, they're 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 a big play team, and hopefully we can minimize those plays. What's the biggest? How you, what's the biggest thing about CD that makes him tough? tough um, he's strong. Um, a lot of people they either have speed or quickness, or they're just like possession guys. But he kind of has it all. How much does it help? Because your offense, LSU, is kind of known for defense, but the offense is so explosive. Mm -hmm. How much does that help you guys on defense? Um, it lets us know that, like, if we if we aren't having the best of game, then they have our backs, and really, it's the same way. We're same way, vice versa. Like, uh, if they're not having a good game, then we have their backs. So. How about just in practice, though, like you going up against them tomorrow. Mm -hmm. guys, how much does that help you? Um, it helps a lot. Um, they, they pretty much prepared all of us for everything that we'll see because they, they come out and do a lot of different things. What do you take away from Jalen Hurts, pass or run? Um, hopefully we can take away both, but um, really really as a secondary, we, we try to take away the pass, and the interior, they try to take away the run. So. Is he different than when he's in Alabama? Um, um, he has... I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I feel like I feel like he still has he still has all the weapons he had at Alabama, um, so he can he can really still do the same amount of damage. Uh, you said, it seems like he's in an offense that throws it more. I'm just, mm -hmm. just kind of contrasting how he plays. I don't know if he's different than you guys see him more. Yeah. Um, well, Oklahoma, he has a lot more opportunities to throw the ball, and get bigger plays. Um, yeah. You want to go both ways at some point in your career in college? Um, I mean, not full time, but just. Kind yeah, of I mean, that'd be cool if that was to happen. Um, that's not really like the big topic of discussion, right, for this year or next year. Um, but if if that happens junior year, then um, it might be a little nice, a little or something. In high school, did you play receiver? Or mm, yeah. Yeah. Always wanted to play defense. That was in your blood. You never wanted to. Yeah, ever since I was a little kid, it's always been defense. Yeah. Why? Why always defense? Um, I feel like just my dad played corner, um, so like it was kind of just the first thing I started doing was just um, DB drills, and I kind of just stuck with it. What motivates you? What, is it? what motivates me? Yeah. Is there something that drives you specifically? Um, just being able to have to eventually put my family in a position to where they wouldn't have to work anymore or um, maybe one day if I have a family then um, they wouldn't have to do anything that much because I'll be able to support them. Do you feel like you have anything left to prove? I mean, you're 18 and you've got all these awards and you've had tremendous success this year. What do you 
have left to show off? Um, I still had to prove that um, I can be consistent. Um, there's a lot of times where I'll be doing good and then something something to happen and I had to bounce back from that. So really consistency. Yeah. Well, I'm not surprised because I know uh, Christian Foden on the opposite side of me. People, they're not gonna throw at him. He's he's a seasoned um, veteran and um, he knows how to deal with everything that comes his way. So, um, I mean, if I was an offensive person and I seen a senior on one side and a freshman on the other, I I'd go with the freshman. Do you expect to be on an island against CD? Um, I mean, if it happens like that, then then it'll happen. I mean, um, just the way our defense is. What's your mentality? If that's the case, line up against one of the best receivers in the country. Just like everybody else, go out there and play my best, and um, hopefully I, I'll be able to shut them down. What do you see in his game? I guess. What, what, what are his strengths? What does he do so well? Um, he pretty much does everything well. Um, he can catch, obviously. Um, he makes big plays after he has the ball, um, like running in an open field. Um, he's strong, and he has he has a decent amount of speed too. So it's one of those, one of those tests mm -hmm. for you, right? One of those high yeah. marks. Yeah. You, you got a, your teammate Blake Ferguson played up the street at Buford. Mm -hmm. uh, you know he's your permanent team captain. Just tell me a little bit about him. And I understand that you know he got to take some of these guys, hang out, kind of show you his land in his hometown. Um, he's a very he's a very nice guy. Like um, every time he sees me, he's just like he says what's up. And I mean that says that says a lot about his character because you never see you'll never ever hear of him getting in trouble with anything. Um, you know he always knows the right thing to do, and he'll make sure um, all of his teammates are always in the right position to be successful. A lot of times you don't ever hear about the long shot to get love, you know, <laughs> from you know, press conferences, but at least his teammates have all seen positive. Yeah. Very big picture question for you. What is your best coach O story? Best coach O story. Um, well, really, um, he one one team meet the first team meeting of the season. Um, he talked about he talked about crows and, and and eagles. Like crows fly fly low, and the eagle flies up high, and the eagle has to stoop down low to the crow's level in order to like interact with him and he's saying just stay at Eagles level and don't stoop down to the crow. So did that make sense to you right away? Or yeah, was it, kind of yeah, it did because, I mean, he explained it better. I just, I just, <laughs> I I'm you. missing a little, a couple parts, but um, really just like if you're better than your competition, don't like, don't like go down to that level, just stay at your level. Do you think, I think sometimes outside of the folks who know him well, that because he explains things colorfully, because he is that sort of big personality, that people maybe miss the insight that he provides <laughs> and stuff like that. I mean, is it, do you see more and more of that as you've gone through your first year with him? Like, man, this guy, you know, can explain stuff in a deep way that is a little different <laughs> than other people might explain it? Yeah, I mean, um, but that, I mean that's pretty much different with like every person. Like yeah. some people have certain ways of saying things and and like handling things. So. Uh, this is really random. My first job was in Albany, Georgia, and I covered your dad who was coaching the indoor football team there mm -hmm. when you were like three. So. Anyway, <laughs> crazy to see you now. But yeah. Congrats. <laughs> Thank Good you. Luck with everything. Thank you. What does it mean to be a kid from the Baton Rouge area and represent in this way? Um, it means a lot because I know I know I'm making a lot of people proud. Um, I know I'm making my my former classmates, all my uh, past coaches, and all of them. I know they're they're glad to see me on this stage um, succeeding. Did you think that would be uh, something that you would enjoy when you chose LSU? Yeah, that was that was one of the main reasons. Like um, my thought press, my thought. Uh, um, yeah, my thoughts about that, uh, like if I was to make a play um, and then happen to look in the stands and like see a friend that I went to high school with or um, hung out with, um, like that would just be cool to, to see. Coach Weiner give you any advice? Uh, yeah, I mean, he, 
he gave me a lot all through high school, and I kind of I kind of just brought it up with me um, to college. So anything that comes to mind, anything specific that you go, hey, that kind of paid off this season. Yeah, um, he would always say one of the main things that he would tell us is that we got to have grit, and um, that kind of just stuck with me, like grit, having hard um, effort, all that. So.